Russian Premier and presidential candidate Vladimir Putin has been publishing a series of manifestos in the lead-up to the elections in two weeks. Thus far, Putin has discussed matters of Russian society, politics, and economics in the manifestos that look more like campaign platforms than a real discussion on what is taking place in Russia. This week, Putin published his manifesto on national security, which instead of being a stirring oration on how he has made the country safer over the past decade, it was more of a realistic look at the many challenges that Russia has faced over the past few decades, today, and in the future. As Putin stated in his manifesto, Russia is not a country like others that can plan for one threat at a time or stay in the present. Russia instead has to plan for dozens of threats over the course of decades ahead. This is because Russia is an inherently weak and indefensible state, with no natural barriers between it and the myriad of regional powers encircling it. Moreover, Russia's primary line of defense has been to expand its influence to engulf territories surrounding it, which are not always friendly. In doing this, Russia has had to have a robust military capable of defending those expanded borders. After the fall of the Soviet Union, Russia's military was ravaged by corruption, dissent, and decay. Putin outlined the humiliation Russia bore in the depletion of the former Soviet military. But the Russian military today is rebuilding. One of the major problems in rebuilding is that Russia could not just simply invest in the future of the military, but had to make up for decades of neglect since the Soviet dissolution. This has been a large, painful, and very expensive undertaking. Another nearly insurmountable challenge has been to recognize that Russia does not have the manpower to rebuild a military with thousands of bases, depots, and more. Due to Russia's deep demographic problem, simply adding people to the military to make it stronger is not an option. So Putin outlined building a smarter and more focused military instead including combining forces so there are no undermanned brigades, but ensure that they have a higher strike capability with modern equipment. Russia isn't rebuilding a strong military without reason, as there are many real challenges facing the country today. As was stated in the manifesto, Russia is not as worried about large-scale nuclear warfare as much as conflicts within the direct proximity of Russia, whether that be the predominantly Muslim Caucasus or the current domestic protest movements, or its borderlands, meaning the former Soviet states. Such pressures are not simply localized, but compounded by the pressure from NATO in the US. As such, Russia sees itself and its military alliance structures as the guarantors of balance and stability in the region. This means that the region is dependent on Russia having a strong and centered security strategy. With so many trials overcome, Putin still sees many more challenges facing Russia and that the future of a strong country is foremost dependent on its ability to secure itself. As Putin directly stated, one cannot be overly patriotic about this issue.